Covering Colorado first with your forecast. Chris, I think everybody better like the 90s because we're going to be seeing a lot of them, aren't we? <laughs> yes, unfortunately, uh, we have quite the little heat streak ahead and there's a view of the city. It's a little murky looking. Two reasons. We do have some scattered showers around, but we also have some issues with ozone pollution at the surface. We do have an alert in effect. Here's current radar loop and uh, I, it's interesting when storms organize in line because it lets you know there's something in the atmosphere creating that. We do have this disturbance right there, a line of showers and storms trying to develop from outside of Brighton right through northwest Metro Denver and down into the southern foothills of Jefferson County. These are not severe. However, they have lightning and that does make them dangerous. You may even see a little small hail and about a 10 to 15 minute downpour from outside of Longmont through Erie toward Commerce City and in the Arvada Westminster area. The shower over Aurora has dissipated, but one is trying to reform uh, just off to its west. So we'll see if that gets going. And there's the southern end of that line from Ken Carroll out south of Conifer. Northwestern Colorado scattered showers and storms up there. Uh, some lightning contained within Central Mountains. We've seen some scattered showers and storms from outside of Canyon City and Buena Vista all the way back toward the Crested Butte area. This has been the area of concern because these storms have had a little bit heavier, more persistent rain. In fact, our weather watcher in Uray over a quarter of an inch of rain with some hail mixed in and that's near the 416 burn fire. So we do worry about that. Four hundredths of an inch of rain from Bob Rising. He's our weather watcher in the Estes Park area 95 from Ted Carlton that last check in Steamboat Springs that flash flood watch continues through nine o'clock tonight for the southwestern part of the state mainly again for that 416 burn fire uh, area this will expire at nine and then come back tomorrow the weather service said they're going to put it back into effect for Sunday afternoon currently we are in the 90s still at most every major station Parker you've cooled to 82 with the rain Boulder down to 88 with some clouds in the area 98 in rifle and 81 in Durango it's a little breezy on the eastern plains and with few pockets of wind in the high country out there. Some of those gusts have been near 30 miles per hour. We topped off at 98 here at CBS 4 and out at the airport. We started in the 60s. That is above normal for this time of the year and the high was not too far away from that record of 102 back in 19. 89. We were talking about the 90s on the weather toss, and this is why. Big high pressure sitting with us. I'm going to put this into motion now through Monday, and this dome of high pressure covers most of the lower 48. It's in the upper atmosphere, and you get a sinking motion below that high, and that kind of keeps things stagnant, so your weather really doesn't change much from day to day, and we're right under the core of the high, so that means we are hot. Now, down at the surface, just enough moisture combines with daytime heating does help kick up some showers and storms from time to time. The ones we have out there now now will die off by midnight tonight. We'll wake up to mostly sunny skies statewide for your Sunday, but about 12 1 o'clock. It's that magic hour where we reach uh, daytime heating with enough instability to pop up some more showers and storms, and that will happen once again tomorrow. Maybe a few along the I-25 corridor if we are lucky. Lows tonight, 40s and 50s up high, 60s down low. Hot tomorrow, basically a repeat of today. 70s and 80s up high, 90s to near 100 on the lower elevations east and west. Ozone alert continues, Kathy, through tomorrow. So give a sensitive respiratory system. Take caution if you're outside. Look at that 90s right through the extended with just a small chance for precip each and every day. Let me flip the other page just because you'll like this. Maybe a little cool down oh, toward wow. next weekend. So Might we'll, need a sweater on that Sunday. No kidding compared to how it's been. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, thanks. You're welcome. Well, do you think you have what